Fuck my voice. Thought I'd do something a little bit different just to show you part of my collection I'm selling. I'm selling this stuff here, all of my box Game Boy stuff. It's stuff I've held onto for a little bit just so I can list it online. It is listed online and I'm just going to show you what's included in the lot and what it ends up selling for and how I package it and all of that. So, first we have this Game Boy carrying case. We have a charger for a Game Boy Advance SP which does work well. Has seen better days, but you know it, it works. Game Boy Color, once again, it's seen better days, but it's been mine for a long time, so I'm actually going to take the batteries out of there so they don't corrode. Yeah, it, it works well. Box games we have Jungle Book, X vs. Seven, which is a first-person shooter. Doom, which is a first-person shooter. I was trying to go for all of the first-person shooters on the console, and I think I got most of them. WWF, some poker game, Payback, Pokemon Silver, X-Blades Infinite Skater, Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Emerald, there's some good stuff, 007 Everything or Nothing, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Robots, this is a really good game actually, King Kong, really good, Golden Sun, Spyro, Mario Kart with the box a little crushed, and Pokemon Red which is in a nice case, and Boktai 2 which is also in a nice case. So I'm going to pack these up and put them in this box and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to start making ones like this, where it's just like a packaged bubble wrap all the way around and try and protect it, and I'll show you the end result. Okay, now that is done, I shall show you the inside of the box. We have you know, parcels here, wrapped the consoles in bubble wrap in that, and they're all very snug in here, like, when I move it around, there's not a whole lot of movement going on, so I think if I write fragile on this a couple of times, it'll show that I want it to be handled fragilely, whatever that word is, with care. Um, I dabbled in transport, I know that means nothing, but it's worth a shot, so that is the parcel I'm going to be sending, hopefully the buyer is okay with this, and I will show you the auction. This is the auction as it stands right now, it's got a very high price actually, this might be the most expensive thing I've ever sold on eBay. As you can see there, I started off with a dollar, and it's just ridden to this point. I mean, we still have four days to go, pretty much. And I'm not sure if it's going to get any higher, but we shall see. That Game Boy lot sold for way more than I ever thought it would have. It sold for $511.99, which is crazy to me, because I mean, there was some nice stuff in there that you saw, but just a lot more than I thought I would get. And I'm waiting for the payment, they said they will send it by the end of the week, so I will, uh, I'll see if they pay me, you know. I'll show you guys a few of the other things I sold. I sold this, not really sold, like a trade. I'm sending this to a guy in Victoria. I think it's Victoria. I have it all written out anyway. I sold this for $15, which was a good deal. I think I got it for, like, $10 trading credit at CX, so... I bought that, it's complete, I sold it for $15, so I think I turned the trading credit into actual cash, which is what you always want to do. And a big item. I bought this for $6 at an op shop. It is an Akubra Cattleman, really nice hat. And I sold it for 100 not 100 I think $87, something like that. So I turned $6 into $87, which will probably pay for, like, fuel this week. And anything I get from an op shop, so I mean, that's really nice, that's what you want to do. I just sold this item here today, a Zumba fitness set, which I haven't been getting a whole lot just because I haven't found them on the cheap. I found this one for $5 at a market, and it's sold for $25 plus shipping, so I mean, good.
good deal on my part, I will make a bit of money on that, which is always nice. A few other things I've bought that I've sold this week, I will probably do this as a weekly series now, just to kind of show you what I do with the stuff I buy. So I sold Coil of Duty 2 for 15 bucks. I had some Nokia Engage games, I sold them for $15. Bought that copy of Sims 3 Pets for 6 bucks and sold it for 20 And that copy of Disgaea 4 for 15 bucks as well. So I've done very well this week, I've definitely paid for the stuff I bought, which is over there. I'll show that in a pickup video at some other point. These will be separate videos, I'm going to start doing a... Uh, like what I've sold on eBay each week series, and like if I don't have any sales, or I only have one or two sales, I might make it. But if I have a week like this where... I sell something like once every day or once every two days or something. I'll do a little series on it. I think it'll be fun. So, yeah, let's get some totals here and I'll show you what I sold the stuff for. The calculator up here. In total, I made $90 this week. Subtract about maybe 10 to 15 bucks of shipping. Another $10 for eBay fees. I made about 70 bucks in profit, which is really nice. I mean, that definitely paid for the stuff over there that's going into the pickup video and the stuff over there that I'm selling too, so it's like, it's a never-ending cycle, you know? And that's what I like to do. I like the um, idea of a self-funded collection. It's like, anything I buy, it's already been paid for by stuff that I've sold. It's nice. It means that I'm not really out of pocket for anything in my collection. And I am still waiting on uh, payment for both the Akubra hat that I sold for $82.50 and the big Game Boy lot that I sold for $511.99. So once I get my money for those, I might buy myself something nice, you know, just because, I mean, I made, I made like a bandit on those. So yeah, that's all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. If you want to see this as like an updated weekly series or something, I will probably do it just every now and again. All right. Take my house, bidding you farewell.